Well, welcome back to No Man's Land. It's good to see y'all again. I know there's been a lot of flitting backwards and forwards between here and the valley, but me and the YouTube guy have got to be in two places at once. We're just doing the best we can here. So what do y'all think about the changes around the farm? Know what? Let me take you for a guided tour. So first off, this barn here. Now this was originally a bit further north from here, but I decided I wanted to take it all down, bring it down here. We'll get better use of it down here. Whole thing's only wood and tin. Didn't take too long to knock down or rebuild. And as you can see, gives us plenty of space to put all our equipment in here. Got a forage harvester, we got a bell wagon here and this massive very old master. All fit in here pretty good. We even got ourselves a space for the old tank. Now if we just step out here, y'all see my new telegraph poles. We need to get a bit of electricity around the farm. Over there's my new barn. I'll take y'all in there in a minute. We got proper power in the cabin now. Now I like a good log stove. But every now and then you just want to be able to switch on a light. Or listen to the wireless. We can do that now. All the way over yonder there, you can see our new fence. Now I know it don't really make no difference out here. But sometimes it's just nice to put a stake in the ground and say something's yours. This be my land here. Well, mine and computer guys. I just wanted to make it a bit fancy is all. Okay then, let's head over to the barn. This is my favorite piece, if I'm honest. I felled a couple of trees, easy to make with just lumber. A few shingles on the roof up there. Did not take long to build. This is what the computer guy would call the piece de resistance. Well, I don't know French, no idea what that means. And there she is. The old farmer's in there, a man I've given her one hell of a seeing to. I gave the engine a real good service. I even gave her a lick of paint, and she's had a nice coat of wax as well. I'm gonna look after this little lady. She got me and the YouTube guy through our early days out here. I'm real fond of her. She's a real keeper. Ignore all these logs out here. This is just from where I was felling trees and building all these new barns. I just wanted to show you that I kept the old harvester. You remember when I fabricated this old thing? And we never really got around to using her. But for some reason, computer guy's real fond of her. I promised I'd keep her safe. However, when you just jumped in here, I just finished selling off the old plow and the old mower. We definitely don't need those old things no more, especially if we're gonna try and make silage out of all this grass behind me. Speaking of which, take a look at the pile we got going already. Yep, that ain't bad at all. Anyway, let's you and me get down the brass tacks here. I'm sorry I've been rambling, but I've just been kind of excited to show someone at least what's been going on around here. It's been a while since the YouTube guy's been here, so thank y'all for humoring me right now. Plan around here is to get a bit more grass in, but I'm kind of bored of grass. It ain't like it's gonna be going nowhere. So I'm thinking today I might take a visit down to the sawmill, see what's going on down there. We should have some planks in there. Might be able to get them baby sold. And I think it's time we got on with felling some more trees. 385,000 bucks in the bank. If I think carefully about what we need, I might even be tempted to pick up something in terms of forestry equipment. And I just gotta think carefully about what we need around here. Mayor wants me to chuck him a couple of hundred grand every now and then. That's how he's gonna build up the town. Well, I could stand here all day talking the ass end off a of buffalo. I'll best get going.
We got plenty of planks coming out. And we got some furniture for a change. Man, there's bits scattered all over. There's even a pit of little pile of chippings here. And I'll get loaded on the back of the truck what I can. Get it sold, get some money in the bank. Have a think about what I want to buy. That's everything I can get on right now. First thing I gotta buy is some form of forklift. Maybe a truck and trailer. Maybe even some kind of flatbed that we've used before. That little Tatra we had in Erlingrat was a real time saver. Might be able to get a deal or something like that out here as well. Let me get this stuff hitched on and get back to the store. Six thousand nine hundred and sixty-three. That ain't too bad at all. I'm just gonna go pop in here and speak to my little lady friend. She's real nice. I got a real soft spot for her. Now y'all stay here. I don't need you up behind me talking in my ear. I was just checking out what she had in stock. She's got a little tractor, a little voucher, which is on 53% off. But I don't think we need that. She's got a little skid steer kind of bobcat thing in there as well. But again, I can't think of a reason why we need that right now. But she told me something real interesting while I was in there. That little sawmill we've just been to. That's been running full blast since the moment we left here last time. Well, since the moment we were ran out of town anyways. She reckons if I do a proper stock check, I might find I'm sat on a little gold mine there. So I'll best go back and take a look. Nice cash injection is what we need right now. Forestry equipment ain't cheap. Well, look over there. I'll be damned. She was right. Well, it turns out we got ourselves nearly 19,000 in storage. Well, that is an unexpected turn up for the books. I ain't gonna be able to lift this all on by hand in my little truck. I'll best go back and hire myself something worthwhile. Oh, I'm happy now. I've done me some shopping. Come take a look what I bought. Well, I had to go for the Phoenix six-wheeler again. She's such a good flatbed for hauling pallets and the like. I also rented this Schaefer here. A tiny little front loader. But it gives us options here for taking pallets with the fork. And even logs with the log loader. Gotta make life a lot easier. I'm gonna think about some kind of trade if I haul in logs later on, but for now I wanna get everything sold, get the old sawmill cleared right out. <laughs> look at me. I look like I'm on a hobby horse. I'll best hoof it back up and get the truck now. Oh yeah, that old familiar sound. 
makes me real happy. Fully loaded now. 16 pallets is all she takes. Well, that's plenty good enough for me. I'll get her all strapped up now. Hoorah! little 36 grand payday. That'll keep us going for a while, but I do have to get myself some lumber down into that sawmill. She's plumb out of wood now. Well, this is where me and the YouTube guy started off all those months ago. Might as well carry on here. Bear in mind, this is where I first found that bit of gold as well. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. I'm not sure this is the right place to start digging, but I'm thinking if I clear some trees here, it makes sense to have a bit of a scratch around. There we go. That's three trees dropped now. You say, look, the one that we dropped when I found the gold still here. Might as well get this chopped up and ready to go into the sawmill. I mean, I can't see no gold here now, but I've got a feeling it's here. Besides, if them boys weren't sure as well, they never would have kidnapped me and the YouTube guy and kicked their asses out of here. I'll get these all chopped up and load it on the back of the flatbed.
Whoa there, girl. Steady on now. My best back up a bit. She ain't got the weight or the power for logs this big. I'm gonna carry on here. I'll have a nice little update real soon. What is it, computer guy says? Like, subscribe, become a member. Well, you know all that jazz. Just do the goddamn thing. Click that button down there now. I'll see y'all soon. Bye bye. <laughs>